What's the biggest disadvantage of calcium score? Because it doesn't show soft plaque, it only shows calcified plaque, you end up with the situation that I described at the beginning, where people develop plaque, they develop soft plaque, they're in a cardiovascular inflammation mode, and then they find out, they turn it around, and they expect to see an improvement on their calcium score, and more times than not, they see the exact opposite. Now, Matthew Budoff has said, no, there's a way to do follow-up. We'll talk about that in a minute. He really didn't convince a whole lot of people, and I'm one of them. So, further information about calcium score. It's a measurement of the quantity of the calcium in the arteries of the heart using CT, computer tomography. It's a good screening tool for cardiovascular disease. It is not great for tracking or monitoring progression of disease risk. The calcium shows up as a bright white area in the image of the coronary arteries. The presence of any calcium, as indicated by any calcium score greater than zero, indicates that there is plaque or atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries. There are multiple studies that have shown if you've got a calcium score of zero, you really, really should push back if your doc wants to put you on a statin. So yet another place where just using your LDL level, your cholesterol level, is not the most appropriate goal for using statins. There are other things to look at, other things to think about. Now this test, the calcium score is easily accessible. It's relatively inexpensive and very well standardized. Music